everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, this is Stranger Palooza. This is Nick Recchio. Hank, how you doing today? Hello everybody, thank you. Yes, Nick is the general manager of Coachman Class B, and we're here in Indiana. We're in a park yep. right yep. now. I don't even know what the name of yep. it is. We're right, we're right by Coachman Complex, actually. The old family that sold Coachman to Forest River, this is a park that that family's building for the community. Oh, which cool. Is Corson Park, you might have heard of yeah. Corson's, Corson Drive. Right. Kind of cool, nostalgic. Yeah. I was telling you, I bring my dogs here and the family yeah. here every now and then, so. Very nice. Close to home, pretty neat. Absolutely. And back. We are talking about the Galleria, Coachman Galleria, yes. right? And today we're talking about the 24A. Yes, in specific. Yes, which is my favorite one. Yep. This is a 2025. 2025. Yes. Yep. And we want to tell you guys why you should choose this the 2025 24A, 24A yeah, yeah. over any other Galleria sure. or any other full size, you know, 170 extended Sprinter van out there. And there's some content there. There's some reasons why right. the 24A stands a little tall. On the outside, you've got three different models of mm -hmm. the Galleria. So on the outside, these are pretty much the same. We're going to start from the back, right? Yes, sir. Let's go around. All right. So starting here at the back, yep, the this, garage. <laughs> this is what makes a 24A. And, and what's kind of crazy is, as, as you hear me talk, talk to you, you know, we're pretty dialed in with 55, 60 and older. And what was, what happened to us a couple times is some of those people, 55, our customers, potential customers, 55, 60, 65 and older, they said, Nick, we want a toy hauler. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I'm not back in towables here. What, what are we talking about, folks? And they were actually wanting a Galleria, not with like 29er or 39er, what do they call them? 39er bike size, like we see in a Revel or something like that. More of a higher fixed hip, fixed bed. Right, so you can get yep. they uh, just bicycles wanted and stuff in. Storage, right. all right, what, what's the Class B always lacking? Even the even the cl a Class B with the max amount of storage, Yeah. Always needs more storage. More storage, so, yeah. Just and toss in storage yeah. too. Just and like durable, we've got, just yeah. anything additional. So yeah. we've got two electric XB lights in here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just yeah. to show Foldable. you the depth. Yeah. So that's two of them in there. Yep. You still got a little room to touch. So now we got four lithium there. batteries, I think. Yeah. But what's cool about this? So we had older generations asking for a fixed bed. Now, did they just want a regular old fixed bed without the comforts, some creature comforts? So what we did is some of you have seen a 24A before. Mm -hmm. The backs power up yeah you've got the power switch there do you want to run yeah. in there and, and yeah. power it so we can, can show right people here. okay so there you go yeah now this will go all the way to the top it'll mm -hmm. run your head right into the overhead cabinets that's so we can put the cushions on you but you can thing. articulate this if you're a large person a small person you can articulate this to whatever level you need for the comfort okay mm -hmm. we have driver passenger his or hers and the switch is also on this side check it out right there over so, here you're gonna see lithium battery our power is on this side you're gonna see 3000 amp inverter Xantrex and we have a 30 gallon fresh tank in here so a lot of these customers that we're asking, hey, we, we don't want to lose anything, but we just want to gain storage. And then I started asking some dealers that we did business with, hey, how's your market of fixed bed, raised bed mm -hmm. for 50 and older? Is, is there one? Is there one for 60 and older? So then fast forward, I don't know if you've ever met them, a couple out of Alabama, Les Hobson, and then we had our old GM's aunt is a current Galleria customer. Okay. So 24A is in the shop. Mm -hmm. And you know every every now and then if you walk through the shop, you might see something new. Yeah. You never know when you're gonna walk in and see something new. So Les Hobson does a, a walk through the plan. I said, Les, here's some eyeglasses. I'll meet up with you in 30 minutes. I get a text. What is this in the middle of the shop? I'm like, oh my gosh. Les is one of the guys asking for the storage. And now he stumbled across a 24A prototype. <laughs> and then so he goes, this is exactly it. It's not utilitarian. It's on the luxury side. Yeah. Uh, most of the fixed beds are utilitarian, mm -hmm. if, if you will. This offers some luxury. We got a headrest here, 
little storage here. You still get the screen. You still get the, the privacy, the blackout. Yeah. You still get the Truma. You still yeah. get the white furniture paint. You got everything gallery and yeah. is known for. So you get kind of yeah, a, this a modified, great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it a baby boomer Revel, okay. if you will. What are some cool features about this 24 feet? There's not a lot of raised fixed bed 24 footers. You, you know, every time we talk about what chassis I like the best, I'd like to put them all three in a blender and spit out a 24 foot gas. But this has 24 feet and we'll go inside and talk about a couple of the other cool things that this this layout yeah. allows us to do. So this is diesel and it's all wheel drive though. Yes, so I think you've got a few that aren't all wheel drive, but this one Correct. is, right? Correct. We do two yeah. by four today. We do all wheel drive today. Back to the old adage you heard me say over and over, more, more choices. The customer's always going to get the best deal or, or, or their best opportunity to get exactly what they want some guys are just doing all-wheel drive some people are doing just two by four we do both so yeah. that's another reason to talk to us yeah so like i said big reason for this would be the garage here we're just using this as an example you don't have to put your bikes yeah. inside you could put something out here and carry your bikes let's go in and then show the yeah. cool stuff on the absolutely outside. all right so <laughs> This is my other favorite thing about this. Yes, and this is a favorite for a lot of people. For other customers that have visited 24A, visited our website, visited the dealership, you're gonna notice we made a little modification here. We used to have two radius doors that came about here that had nice storage, but I wouldn't say it was as organized as I'd like to see for utilization of a desk. So we set this video up where I'm already in the reverse position in the driver's seat. We don't drive this way ever, right? Yeah. But what's cool about this is you've got your one, two, and three memory settings for the Mercedes mm -hmm. for your seat. So what you can do is you when you get over, this in the position, mm -hmm. you get to your campground, you turn it around and hit number three. And this can bring you right to where your desk sits. Yeah. So I'm spaced a little further away. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to lean over. So one nice thing John Fry did is we get a little, depending on our size, shape, right, et cetera, right. we can set here. If the wife wants to put mm -hmm. something up here, or you guys want to have a charcuterie board, a bottle, couple bottles of wine, still utilizing this yeah. here. I like this because the TV's here, so you could connect your laptop yeah. to your TV. Yeah. You've got your yeah. Firefly, you've got your Carefree, you've got your 110, you've got your USB, your USB-C, uh, and the 12 volt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, what did we do to this? This is very commonly seen in the 20C and the 20D really nice you can have all your charging utilities you can have tablets etc here and then additional storage here very nice very elegant yeah this is cool a little bit more simple than the last one i think it's much more ergonomic we actually used to have a radius here that swooped i i'd be at a show and i couldn't nothing would line up right so much more feature friendly, I would say, much more ergonomic, a yeah. little bit more space for those with different sizes. And what you do here, and what you do here is we have a leg, and notice that bracket, that bracket's pretty memorable or mm -hmm. unique, that's a lagoon bracket. Yep. So we pop that in here, you can put your lagoon table here for passenger. So really neat feature. Yeah, really I really like feature. this. And so this is in the uh, gray option yep, yep. that you guys have. Yep. And I think, are these the new floors? Yep, new floors, little doggy bowl right there. Cool. Now stuff's a little dirty. We had to pull this off the production line to capitalize yep. while Hank's here. Yep. You'll notice some other items here, flat doors. A lot of guys are going to curve. We love curved doors, but we've had curved doors since 2015 with Galleria. We thought it was a time to maybe get rid of the curved doors, flatten them out a little bit more modern. Li3, Xantrex, use store, awning off, Truma, motion sensor, ground effects, Wi-Fi on and off, solar on and off, gray tank heat, and LP pump on or off so really neat guys we're trying to give you space where our control centers are i know you don't like us eating into this space mm -hmm. look we're trying to give some back to you right now right. okay <laughs> so we're, we're getting there we're getting there a couple other things one thing that hank mentioned before we did the video is that let me get this right f l a and the rbs all have to stay round sync at this time. We're working on it. We had to drop too much and we had to drop some of Nick's personal drawer space, the garbage bag drawer. Uh -huh. drawer. Okay. And I didn't want to 
get rid of that. So we're looking at a couple different sizes and maybe a different orientation. Okay. But that's the so reason the, there. So the countertops have changed. This looks yes. like this is different. Yep, yep. Sinks are circular still for now. For the A, for the F, a. L, in the rear bath. Okay. Yep. Same old Coachman storage, beautiful cabinetry, mm -hmm. soft clothes. Um, I really like this. Great spot for a Keurig if you wanted to store it there. No, oh, there you go. Yep, 7300. That's my baby fridge. This is this fridge, wherever we put it in, is a home run. Right, There's just something fridge. about the big drawer, the big fridge. Yeah. Now, okay. what are some other items back here that are pretty cool? Well, if you come here, you got a little just That's nice for us only. Yeah, you could throw your watch, your watch wallet, that book, kind of whatever, stuff in there. Whatever. Yeah. But then further Freedom more, tools. Mm -hmm. what's the biggest thing that I get yelled at at home is my dirty clothes pile. Right. So you saw me when I picked you up today, my washer or my dryer went out over mm -hmm. the weekend and I have to go across the street to Middlebury Cleaners. I'm sure a lot of you customers have been <laughs> over there. Yes, and I, I have. Called the, Five seven four eight two five number for emergency. Hey, I need clothes done in twenty four hours. Well, mm -hmm. okay, perfect opportunity to get those clothes yep. out. And look, that that hamper is hovering above through a bracket device yeah, so above the, your wheel, so yeah. it's not down to the ground. You know, anywhere you can get items out of the van or hidden away from the van. You know, we talked about the fresh water filter right. earlier in the week before this ships. So this also will have that? Yep, before okay. this ships, the guys will come in. Okay. And... Oh, there you go. Yep, and that's what we talked about is our signifier for 25 yeah. also. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, yep. very nice. Very nice. So back here, again, you got power both sides. This van will be shipping. It just came off the line. And again, you gotta watch this, I mean, Depending on your height, your stature. Yeah. Again, I can power up, power down. Great for reading books. You got your CPAP yeah. location, 110 outlet. Yeah, nice incline helps to, yeah. for you to not snore. Now, there was a video, I don't know if it's yours or not, but somebody commented on these. <laughs> if you need it to, pull up you bar. can pull up a little <laughs> bit, but I wouldn't be doing pull ups on these. Okay. This is for a little extra if you wanted to have some hanging clothes, etc. cetera. Yeah. Uh, and, and right here, you've got your one tap, you get a night light. Double tap, you get your reading light. Single tap, night light. Double tap, notice we got another USB port right there. right there. Yeah, so, and this does have an Aventa in yep. it. The Truma Aventa's here. I didn't mention, we switched. I used to have some silver outlets that we got from uh, import company. We found some domestically local. So now we got USB, USB-C inside the 110 outlets also. So they're, they're everywhere now. They're yeah. everywhere now and it's important. Got the smart TV. TV's actually, we're out in the middle of Middlebury in a cornfield. Yeah, it's actually working, it's getting working. signal. So all the other electronics yep, so are back here. Oh, you gotta yep. pull this, yeah. All right, pull the release. Yep. Yep. So Get there we go. Here. There you go. What are we looking at? So you've got your auxiliary satellite. You've got your boost. So if you're not getting a good signal, make sure that light is green, okay? okay. That means your antenna is boosting. Mm -hmm. Here you've got your King router. You've got again your 12 volt USB-C. US, pardon me, USB, USB-C, 110, and your Firefly. Okay, and yep. then do we have yep. anything in here? Stereo oh, above. I really like our motion sensor overhead cabinets. So you can turn them off and turn them on, okay. meaning you can turn off the motion sensor and you have to physically turn on the switch. It just, it's always nice so you don't have to go digging around in a dark cabinet in the middle of the night. So really nice. And uh, then very uh, clean lines through here yeah. with the gray paint. Very and then just show the cabinetry and then finally we'll go to the yep. bathroom here. Yep. I, if we don't show the bathroom. Yep. So we got huge storage here, huge storage yep. here. Now, typically our couch would be right around here. Okay, mm -hmm. right around here. Notice something that a lot of other guys are doing. Um, they'll bring their now. We'll, they'll bring their overhead way up into here, maybe even into here, and, and talk about their overhead space. Don't you think that's going to be a head knocker? I mean, it's just yeah, make sure you, you get, get under up, it. Yeah. Get up and get under. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Get out from under and then get up. Yeah. So really good storage, storage throughout. And then we have some doubles, meaning. Like Put some of your bags. bag, your bag yeah. storage that you showed me the other day, yep. mm -hmm. and singles. Yep. So some his and hers. 
Same thing on the other side yeah. here. Yeah. I think we did show the Jensen. Yep. Yeah. So this is a yeah, double. Your here. double. Now, if I had a CPAP machine, which I'm sure I will someday, I'd be putting it right back here, utilizing the outlet and the drop. Okay, cool. And we still got lighting in the back, finished, very nice. Okay. And really, these these seats articulate in about, let's just do all the way up. So again, probably nobody's gonna be going this high. This is just to make sure they can if they wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About 10, 12 seconds. Snug as a bug, this is all Q-foam. Very good seating back here. Uh, that Q-foam, couple bucks, but I tell you what, we get a lot of good comments about how our sofas, our, our dinettes, everything seats, so really nice. Yep, so now let's check out the bathroom here. Yes. All right. Nice big bath, split Very doors. Good. You get nice elbow room, shower miser. Ozonic shower head. The mirror that I don't know that I agree with every morning when you flip it around <laughs> and it shows you all the bad features about yourself, Ooh. but at least it's honest, right? Yeah, there's a little yep. sink. Yep, porcelain stool. Your black tank is directly under there. The galley yep. here, we need to go over yep. that. Touched on the countertop, new countertop, mm -hmm. works really well with the gray. Mm -hmm. Smell about the round sink. Pull out faucet. We have one single induction on this, the 24FL is the only countertop big enough to do both. Really long uh, there, we got under underlit cabinets and we got underlit base cabinets as well. You can kind of see some of that light shining through, which is a nice little accent. Yeah, so my favorite storage here. I can't stand a paper towel roller that doesn't have a break on it. Because mm -hmm. you pull it and then you got to it just goes the everywhere. whole thing yeah. on the rattles, so, yeah. Yeah, got a little compliment from a gal the other day on that. We listen. Very functional, great yeah. storage, great galley, desk. Oh, so yeah, we're missing the stove here. So this is convection. Mm hmm. It's in a little bit of a different position. It is here, difficult. I'm not going to sit workable. here and lie to you. Yeah. I have been looking. Is that a drawer down there? Yep. Pots and pans drawer. Oh, cool. Okay. And then my favorite drawer, trash can drawer. Trash can. And again, you notice some things about the gallery, a base cabinet and overheads. We shrunk the gaps, kind of like the contemporary, or the, uh, I would say, more like a craftsman build. Filled in the gaps, filled in the gaps, everything has a Euro look to it. But still using tried and true wood, soft clothes, still the same kind of cabinet doors, no greasy ball bearing drawer guides. Done the way it should be done, I think. This um, is definitely my favorite, especially yep. on all-wheel drive. So just quickly at the end, what are the other ones you can get? Uh, there's Q and FL. There's a There's a 24Q, okay. there's a 24T, uh, and there's a 24FL. Front lounge is going to be two lounge. people up front, okay. power sofa, 7300 right here, okay. no desk. You're going to have jump seats or ottomans versus the couch and jump seat and ottomans. The Q is your basic two-seater OEM swivels. Yeah, two and then two more mid. seats. Here, uh -huh. so you're gonna have a smallish galley undermount refrigerator and an undermount microwave as well. Okay, and, and then, then the, the T, T is gonna be one for a third seat, which is a removable third seat here, which is gonna have a large refrigerator here and a huge driver's side galley. Oh, okay, yeah, there you really go. Sharp, really sharp. Yeah, sharp. and I think we have videos on most of those. I'm not yep, sure if I we have the T or not. Not sure about the T. Yeah. It doesn't come around right. that often. It's been with us a while, but it's a unique floor plan and that's a good job for us. Yeah, let us know what you want to see. Thanks a lot, yep. Nick. Hey, I appreciate always, it. Always, always. Thank you for visiting Middlebury, everybody. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.